Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a very requested video. It is makeup for beginners. Now I want to go ahead and kind of explain that I have a lot of products in this video mainly because I wanted to pick a product for each part of the face. And I'm not saying that a beginner has to have all of these products at once. I'm just mentioning to you my favorite things for each part of the face. So if you're a beginner, you know, some of you might not want to go buy all these products. You can pick and choose what product you want to try, try it out, and then you can come back later whenever you want to try something else, maybe for your eyes, and see what I recommend for that. It's totally up to you what you want to try out. These are just the products that I highly recommend and think would be great for a lot of people. And most of them are very, very affordable. This is actually all drugstore and I swear by these products. I just think they are so amazing. So again, like I said, you can just pick and choose what products you want to use or if you want to start wearing makeup and you want all of this stuff, by all means, go get it. I have no problem against that because I know when I started with makeup, I wanted everything. Now the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is primer. And for different skin types, there's different primers for you and that will suit you best. Um, I have oily skin, so I'm going to show you the one I have for oily skin, but I will say most of the primers in the drugstore, I feel like, are more towards people with more dry skin because every one that I've tried literally has made my face look like a shiny, hot mess other than this one. I don't know. I haven't found another product from the drugstore that really works great for oily skin. So if you do have oily skin and you're starting out with makeup, I recommend this L'Oreal Revitalift Miracle Blur. This is an instant skin smoother and it's oil free. Now I'm not going to tell you this is like my all time favorite primer because it's not, but this is a great primer from the drugstore. It is so, so silky smooth and makes your skin feel like butter. I mean, it is stunning. It does fill in the lines very well. I feel like if you have kind of smaller pores, um, not as large as mine, this would really help minimize your pores as well. So I really do like it. This one is the oil free. You want to make sure you get the oil free for if you have oily skin. And if you have dry skin, you could just get the one that doesn't say oil free and that will really work for your skin. So. I recommend this one. Now for foundation, this is no surprise to any of you. It is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous Foundations. I have two of them. I love this. I have oily skin, like insanely oily skin, and I love this. People I've heard with combo oily skin love it, and I have heard people with dry skin love it. I think it's kind of a hit and miss with certain dry skin. If you have dry skin, I would kind of just moisturize a little bit more to make sure this doesn't cling to your dry patches. But you could also try the L'Oreal True Match Lumi, which is really great for dry skin. It personally didn't work for me because it made me look super shiny. But if you have dry skin, I think you would really like it. It would kind of give you a really gorgeous, healthy glow. But for the combo to oily skin and some dry skin people, this is like my favorite. It gives amazing coverage. It looks gorgeous on the skin. I mean, this is hands down my favorite drugstore foundation, and I've mentioned it a lot, and if you actually want to see this in action, I will link my current foundation routine down below, and you can check it out. And this is, I think, under $10. It's super affordable, and it has a pump, which is amazing. Moving on to powders, the one I just am obsessed with is the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. Again, this is for more oily skin, but if you have dry skin, you can try out the NYX Setting Powder. It's the NYX not the set it, don't fret it, but they have another one. I'll put a picture of it right here. You can try that out because I heard it works really great. If you have super dry skin, you might not want a powder. So you could totally skip that step if you feel like you don't need it because there's no point in adding extra product if you feel like your skin doesn't really need it. But for my oily skin girls out there, this Maybelline Dream Matte Powder is oh, so good. This is another product I would compare to a high-end product because Literally, it is so fine. You can't even see it on your skin. Like, it's so freaking beautiful. Like, I can't stress it enough. I always have this with me at all times because it's just amazing for on the go and just setting your makeup. So, I highly recommend this. Again, I think this one's under $10 as well. It's really good. Now, for my girls who want some bronzer, this is by far the best bronzer I have found in the drugstore. It's the NYC Sun and Bronze bronzing powder in Montauk bronze. So this is what it looks like. It is seriously so stunning. It's very, very pigmented. This is like two or three dollars and it goes on the skin so beautifully. Like you probably can't see because I just self tanned, but you can see, look at that. I think it's a gorgeous natural looking bronzer. It doesn't look super orange. I love this. Again, it's like two or three dollars. You can't beat it. It's so amazing and I just 
highly recommend it. If you have tried this out, let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Now for my girls who love blush and just want to stick with blush, I have two different options. The one that's a little bit more expensive is the Milani Baked Blush. I think these are probably like five, six, seven dollars. I can't remember. I haven't bought one in a long time. But this one is Luminoso. And this one is like a color that can pretty much go with any look that you do. It gives you a gorgeous glow and it's kind of like a peachy, it's just, yeah, it's like a peachy blush, but it is so stunning on the skin. The quality of these Milani blushes is amazing. I'm going to go for something more like a couple dollars. You cannot go wrong with Wet n Wild. I know Wet n Wild doesn't look like the bee's knees in the drugstore with the packaging, but the product on the inside is amazing. This is my favorite blush from them. It's called Pearlescent Pink. And I've had two of these. This is my most recent one. I know if you're a beginner, it's kind of hard to tell how much you need. But with this blush, you just barely need to touch it. So be very careful with your brush. You just kind of want to tap it in there. Tap off any excess you might have on the brush. And then just apply it to the apples of your cheeks. And you will be good to go. This is amazing, again, comparable to any high-end blush. I would say Tarte because the pigmentation and how long it lasts on your skin is just so good. So again, if you didn't want to spend the $6 or so on this and wanted to spend more like 3 I would definitely recommend this one, but both of these are amazing. Next thing is concealer. By far, this is the best concealer I have tried from the drugstore. It is from Jane Cosmetics. You can get Jane at Ulta. I don't know about anywhere else. I think it's only Ulta. But seriously, this is like the best coverage for a drugstore concealer. I compare this to my MAC Pro Longwear. So if you don't want to buy the MAC Pro Longwear, which most beginners don't want to, definitely give this a try. It does not crease as long as you set it with powder. And it lasts all day. And it's seriously Full coverage it is so stunning you can get this in a lighter shade if you want to do like a little bit of a highlight underneath your eyes or just get the concealer the same color as your face put it underneath your eyes just for a really natural look it's beautiful and it's under ten dollars which is amazing for brows I feel like brows is a really important part just because your brows can really make a look this is something you might want to try later on down the road when you're doing when you're a beginner with makeup but if you want to go ahead and try it out this is a product that I would recommend. It's the Milani Brow Fix Kit. Now I took out all the little fun stuff it came with, but I'll put a picture of it. It came with some little tools here on the side, but I got the color medium and it comes with three different shades. You have two different brow shades and then you have a highlight that you can use underneath your brow. So this is awesome. You could also use this as an eyeshadow palette if you wanted to kind of double it up as something else. This is great for your brows. It looks really natural. And if you just apply it with the little angle brush that comes in here, because I used to have it and use it all the time, and the angle brush is amazing. Definitely keep that in the thing. The brush is so soft, it just blends that brow powder right into your brows and it looks so natural. Highly recommend it. If you're wanting to do your brows, this is definitely the kit that I would recommend. Now for primer, for me, that's a hard one to kind of just sit here and recommend to you guys. One thing you can do is take your concealer and put just a little bit over your lid. You don't want to do too much because it might crease on you, but you could just put a little bit on your lid and that could be your eye primer. That's the one that I would highly recommend, but if you want to try different eye primers, Wet n Wild has one, L'Oreal has one. I know a bunch of different people have eye primers that you can try out, but if you just want to save the money, definitely just take your concealer and put a little bit over your eyelids. It'll cancel out any redness or discoloration, and it'll give you a really nice space for any of the shadows that you want to put on. Now for eyeshadows, I have one brand that I'm obsessed with and love and I just can't get enough of these eyeshadows because obviously I have quite a few quads. These are the Maybelline Eye Studio Quads. I have a few, some of them are limited edition, and one of my favorites is this one. This is in the permanent collection. It's called Coral Oasis, and you just have four different shades. These are so beautiful, very pigmented, and they actually blend very, very, very well. So, I mean, you cannot go wrong with these. They are stunning shades. And if you can still find the limited edition little palettes in store, I would recommend a, a beginner to try out this one called Fall Temptation. You do have a matte dark brown in here, and then you have some other neutral shades that you can go to. Again, they're really pigmented, blend beautifully. Again, another brand is Wet n Wild. You could try them out. I feel like the Maybelline ones just last longer than Wet n Wild on my eyes personally, but some people could be totally different. So try out whatever you prefer. Wet n Wild is cheaper if you do want to give that a go.
I really quickly want to talk about liners. Jordana is by far my favorite for drugstore eyeliners. I have the Jordana Fabu Liner, which is currently sealed up because I haven't been able to use it yet. I still have another one that I'm using. I've been using for a few months now. And this is amazing. The felt tip on it is so gorgeous. I think felt tip is more of the way to go when you're a beginner, just because you have more control other than a brush. And for a stick liner, if you want one, this Jordana 12 hour made to last liquid eyeliner, this is awesome as well. Super creamy, lasts on your waterline, and it just looks so beautiful. I mean, let me tell you, this stuff is black, and I barely touch my skin. It's really, really, really good. And also, these two liners from Jordana are super affordable. I think they're just like a couple dollars, maybe two or three dollars a piece. So, I mean, by far, hands down, I would recommend these for any makeup beginner. Oh, we're almost done. So, going on to mascara, the one that I recommend is the Maybelline Rocket Mascara. I haven't talked about this in a while, but it's still one of my favorite mascaras from the drugstore just because I think it gives a ton of volume. Now, if you don't want a ton of volume and want to go more for lengthening, I would definitely recommend the L'Oreal Telescopic Shocking Extensions or the regular L'Oreal Telescopic because those aren't super, super dramatic unless you really build it up. It'll give you more of that natural look, but if you want more dramatic lashes, this is the way to go. Um, it kind of just depends on, you know, as a beginner, what you want your lashes to look like. Do you want them to look a little bit more full and thick or do you want them to look a little bit more natural, which the L'Oreal Telescopic can do. So. It's just up to you, but I love this one. Even though, full warning you, it is a pain to take off. Make sure you try to take it off with a uh, waterproof eye makeup remover because otherwise, this baby isn't going anywhere. Now, if you want to be a lipstick kind of girl, then I just have a nude that, that I want to show you guys and a pink. So the pink I recommend is this one from Rimmel and it's called Pink, Sh pink Chic. It's not too pink on the lips. It just looks like you have a wash of color on there and it just looks really gorgeous. Now, if you want to go with more of a nude, this is the perfect nude because it's not too nude. Like, literally the most beautiful color ever. Whenever you have a nude lipstick, you really don't want to look washed out because it's just going to look so unnatural and not flattering at all. A super washed out lip doesn't look good. But if you want something that is a nude and not too noticeable, this is the way to go. Wet n Wild Fergie Lipstick in Fergie Daily. It's very good. Now, if you want to either top the lipsticks or just have a regular gloss, you can't go wrong with these. These are the NYX Butter Glosses. I've talked about these a lot. Favorite colors are Creme Brulee, which is more of a nude, and then Apple Strudel, which is kind of a peach. And these are amazing. They make your lips look so gorgeous and just glossy, and they feel so good on the lips. They're not sticky at all. And they do have pretty great pigmentation, so if you're wanting a really awesome gloss that's not sticky at all, then you want to try out these because they are amazing. That's it guys, I think I pretty much hit every part of the face. If I missed out anything, then let me know in the comments below. Or if you have any kind of questions, leave it in the comments below. I definitely want to you know, help any beginners out if you have any questions about any of the products or any other products that you've been looking at. Just leave a comment down below and I will be more than happy to help you or tweet me on Twitter, something like that. I always try to reply back to people on Twitter as much as I can and I often have little following sprees so make sure you follow me on there to check that out. But to thank you guys, I want to give away $100 to one person to get their makeup collection started. Whether it be drugstore, if you want high end, I'm going to give you $100. It's going to be a Visa gift card so you can use it anywhere and I just want to help somebody start up their collection. I know, you know, makeup can be very expensive, so if I can help in any way, I would love to help one person just get everything that they need to get their collection started. So, like I said, the gift card will be $100, and it's a Visa card, and if you would like to enter, then go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment down below letting me know how you found my channel. I would really like to know, because I've been very curious for a few weeks now. So let me know how you found my channel down below, and you can enter as many times as you want. I want to thank you guys. This is not the big giveaway that I'm doing. This is just something I want to add in. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. All giveaway rules will be listed again in the description box below, so if you have any questions, you can check that out. And thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>